Hi, I'm Ruth Elderbrook with A Slice of Heaven, and you might know me for my signature cheesecakes in Marshfield along with some other decadent desserts. But in this segment, I'm going to teach you how to make chocolate chip blonde brownies, family favorite hot fudge sauce, whole house pie, a salad, chip beef dip, olive dip, spinach artichoke dip, potatoes in foil, in an angel food, which frosting, banana bread, puff pastry um, dough, three-layered chocolate cake, the sweet potato casserole, peanut butter truffle brownies, it's our egg bake, a poppy seed dressing, easy English muffin pizza, an easy cheese ball, chocolate chip cookie dough bite. Did somebody pull up here? Uh, yeah, somebody coming. Is there? There's a guy driving up and down the road. Who is that? Are you kidding me? I heard, I heard my name. Are you kidding me? No, I was watching the show and I heard my name, so I ran right over. Are you kidding me? No. You are so are funny. Oh. Congratulations. Hello. Thank you. Hello. And, and here, okay. Here we were just talking about you. Like we were. This morning we were talking about you in the hot tub. Not wishing you were there, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> Just like, we Gee, were thinking 100 episodes April ago. 5th, 2013. No. Was that what it was? It was. Oh it was wow. April 5th, four years, almost four years ago. Wow. And we never knew Brianna <laughs> until that, that show. Really? So take it away, take Mike. It away. Take Welcome to <laughs> uh, Cooking with Ruth and Gary and our guest, Mike, who's For, actually... Yeah. I don't know what, what, what he is. how this is all kind going of an, kind to of play an initiator, out. kind of an initiator. But it's a special day. We are celebrating our 100th shooting of Cooking with Ruth, yeah. and it's really evolved over the last almost four years. April 5th, 2013, was our first show, yep. and it was uh, one of the business profiles for the community television. And from there, you apparently said, "Oh, maybe we should do a cooking show." Well, no, I said maybe you should do a I cooking show. I should do a yeah. cooking show. Yes, yeah. you came up with the idea. In other words, I was trying to get out of it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah well. Yeah, and then you came on our 50th, I think, and did a little, maybe, was it the 50th? Hmm. Matthew and Alana came back from their worldwide oh, yeah. trip, and you did a little, I think, a little uh, interview with them, before and after, yeah, I think, right. Before yeah. that, though, we also did the big game. The big oh, yeah. game, was, that was the Super fun. Bowl show. The Super Bowl yes, show. Yes. That was in January 2014. Because oh, yes, that was. Cat was, Cat was, was with, with us, our there. exchange student right. for three yeah. weeks. Yeah, yeah. This has been fun. It's been great. Yeah. So it's been going well. It it has. Um, it, it's interesting how I think some of the shows have evolved. Some of the things that we're going to make have evolved. As I've talked about before, sometimes it's four in the morning and I'm thinking, what are we going to do today? You know, and Gary <laughs> that says... That has happened a lot. Oh yeah. And Gary yeah. will say, why are we still doing this show? Yeah. And then I say, well, you know, if you don't want to be on the show, you know, <laughs> you can go back to how it was in the beginning. And I don't want to you know? miss the show because there's always something good to eat after the show is done. Oh, and there's the, there's the taste testing, a little sampling. Yeah. So. Now we know why he hangs That's around. That's why he hangs yeah. around, yeah. And I hang around yeah. with Ruthie because I love her. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I do yeah. that too. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, this is, so it, I mean, it's a huge success by all accounts. Yeah, they, they enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, our, our kids are often too busy. I don't even know how many of them even watch the show, you know. <laughs> but it's their loss. But it's their loss. That's right. You know. We've dedicated a few, you know, to some of our kids, you know, mm -hmm. when we've had Megan's wedding and... Michael going off, I think, to Duluth, you know, to work for a homeless shelter. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you interviewed Matthew and Alana when they started the World Travels, and it's just a lot of fun things. We've also done some things with different fundraisers, MAPS, mm -hmm. um, Sheltering Hearts, uh, Super Socks. Right. So we've had different, you know, guest uh, friends, you know, come on too to, to kind of help us. But you have kind of a, kind of a, a good following, a dedicated audience of... You know, yeah. they're always right. They're, they they yeah. follow every episode. They right? do. They, they, they do. do. Yeah. Yeah. So how has this made you? How has this affected you? And you know what you do on a daily basis? Because I'm sure it's uh, at first it kind of took you. It was kind of out of the box. Yeah, right? it was. Yeah. Um, I think in a lot of ways, even with kind of how our business developed too, there were lots of recipes I maybe would never have tried, but now people will say, "Well, do you make?" Um, 
red velvet brownies. And no, I had never made red velvet brownies until we made them for you know a customer at Christmas time. And so I, I think my confidence has, has probably really grown a lot more. I've always loved baking, you know, and cooking. Um, so I think that part has has really grown a lot as we've tried, you know, new things on the show and, and um, even some healthy, you know, uh, aspects. Oof. I know it's yeah. hard to think really about that. Oof. Yeah, scary. I it know. Is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so so that part I think is is really good. You know, with just enjoying what we're doing and and trying lots of new things, bringing new recipes. You know, I think to the that's audience. what the the audience gets out of it is. Okay, if you're trying it, then maybe they're not afraid to try something new, and they'll think out of their box a little bit, mm -hmm. and they'll right. go for it, right? right. Isn't that yeah. what cooking or baking is for the most part? Right. I mean, let's try something yeah. and see if it works, <clears throat> and if not, we can right. try something else. Right, absolutely. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. And, the, and the idea, too, with cooking, you know, we like doing the show that we try to be real and spontaneous, and if and we'll... People can see us making, you know, whoops, we spilled something, you know, flour or sugar all over. You know, that's that's me mostly, not Ruthie right. so much. But, I mean, it's like we're not perfect making things in the kitchen, and we don't want anybody else to think you have to be in order to try something, you know, kind of along that, yeah. to segue from what you were just saying yeah. before. In try fact, something along, new, do something different. In fact, along that, that way, um, I remember making, I think it was cream cheese frosting or one of my frostings on the show, and, and it was one of those... Uh, don't do it like this, and yeah, now right. we put you know like <laughs> a cover on it or do as I say, don't a, do as I do. Yeah, a smaller yeah. bowl, because sure that works, and then all of a sudden there's you know, powdered sugar all yeah. over the place. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So cooking and baking can be fun. It is fun. What we're doing today, in addition to celebrating our 100th, uh, you know, show, we're going to make a couple of simple um, kind of appetizer, desserty things for the Packer game oh. on on Sunday, and. And believe it or not, you know, we're kind of in this catering business, do lots of, of desserts, lots of sweet things. So we've decided, well, since last weekend after our Christmas celebration, that we're going to try to cut out the sugar. And I think people are trying to eat healthy, especially this time of year after well, New I'm Year's. I'm not. So. Well, <laughs> aside from yourself. Okay. But, no. <laughs> but, you know, that's kind of the end thing, the big thing. Every January, you know, oh, people yeah. have resolutions. <clears throat> they're going to try to eat healthy and exercise more. So we thought we'd throw a couple of snacky food, food things in here for uh, any time, actually, and not just for football games. Uh, so we're going to yeah, do that tonight. It's good. We, we just tried it. In fact, it was a recipe Brianna had sent me a long time ago, and it's called Detox Chocolate Bites. Ugh. Sounds right. pretty I'll good. Give it a try. I'll give it a try. <laughs> okay, so, so this is going to be simple. We're going to take these three bars. This is 85% dark chocolate. So. so you just take these bars and break them up and melt it in the microwave. 30 seconds, stir. stir it. Another 30 seconds, stir. And when it's done getting all melted, mm -hmm. then Gary's going to bring it back. And then we're just going to make these little puddles of chocolate. And then you can add, you know, nuts or whatever you want to for your little snack. Oh, okay. So these are like those little, yeah, like those little like nut clusters, exactly. peanut clusters or yeah. whatever that you Only see. they're very flat. So what we're going to do, these were some of our finished products. So you might think, oh, they look kind of like flat and yeah. whatever. But they actually taste really good, which okay. we'll let you try. Uh, later. When, <laughs> later. And what we were planning to do, which the recipe called for, was putting in some other like dried fruits and things. Mm -hmm. But if you're trying to keep it, you know, not so full of sugar, dried fruits have a lot of sugar in them, you know, when, when they're dried. So I was trying to figure out how many calories are probably in one of these little bites. Maybe 50 to 60 calories, which <laughs> isn't bad, you know. And because the chocolate is dark and it's, it's very rich tasting, I had one last night, Gary had two. Well, and like one <laughs> and a normal half, and a half one, okay. a small little quarter size. <laughs> right away he goes into I tried. Thing. Well, I only yeah. had. Yeah, it's a disclaimer, <laughs> I gotta throw it out there. I did I not know. have two whole it wasn't, it wasn't a cowboy cookie, his okay. favorite oh, cookie, but yeah. So, but, so what we're gonna do is we're you know, kind of talking a little bit here. Um, I, I cut the whole almonds in half. Okay, so you can kind of put whatever you want to on your your uh, little bite here, your detox bite. Mm. I think that sounds, mm -mm. No. <laughs> okay. no, I might cut this myself is, if I use that one. <laughs> this is my favorite knife, I cut everything with this. So we're just, you know, gonna cut up a, a few of our almonds and then the same with, with the walnuts. 
um, Gary was going to get some pistachio nuts. That was kind of another idea. Um, and but then you can when use. I looked at them. We were trying to find, trying to get more color in the thing. Yeah. And so we came up with the coconut, and I thought pistachios are going to be a little more green. They are a little bit different shade of green, but not bright enough to kind of make it colorful. Yeah. So we just stuck with what we have here. So what you're supposed to do, I let it cool just a little bit, but you just take your, your teaspoon or tablespoon and drop that on like that, and you can start decorating it. So then it's just like you can pick what you want. Pick whatever you, can you make want. Different kinds. Yep. You could do two or three or all of them. And exactly. Yep. Yeah. Kind of made to order, sort yep. of little yeah. snack bites. So, so just take whatever a, you want to put on there. Take a couple of those. Really? So I can just start loading mm -hmm. them up here. Take some coconut. All right. Coconut only. Gary oh. came I up with. I don't do coconut. Okay, sorry. craisins, raisins, mm -hmm. sunflower seeds. All right. Kernels. So if I want, I can do. And coconut. then those are the Whoops. sliced. Almonds. Walnuts I can do a couple of those, and I want. Some, what are these sunflower? Sunflower, sunflower seeds. seeds. Love those. And, and since we got you more. being busy here, Done. we'll just have you do another. And so it All just right. says one at a time. Okay. And this could actually be a, a fun little exercise if you're having kids at your house, or if they're having a little party, or or something. Um, Oops, and these are these are quick. There. I mean, how how long? before they look like the final product. Um, I, I took that out of the refrigerator. By the time we get done with the show, they'll be probably ready to eat. So oh, yeah. last, last night, it didn't take any time just to, to set up. In fact, you can probably put those in the fridge right now. We so can we're gonna, oh, so we're finish. done with this? We're gonna so finish, we can just kind of finish this later, finish this later okay. if you want, unless you want to finish it off. So we're going to put these in the refrigerator, and then we have another little item that we're going to be doing too. Oh, okay? really? We're done okay. with item number one. Awesome. So we'll did, did you want to try one of these, or you're going to wait till yours are set? I want to wait till mine are set. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's right, because we've got some things uh -huh. in there maybe you yeah. don't want, huh? I'm too picky. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to slide those over, I'm and you put, put that in the, in the fridge. fridge. So Thanks we have now. another little uh, item that we're going to make for Sunday. And this is actually called a skinny peanut butter dip. Ooh. So while you and I are doing this, I'm going to put you to work. Let me grab. Finally. Finally gets, Mike gets to do some work here. As I think my dad or my mother, as my dad oh or my, my mother yes. used to say, if you're going to eat, you're going to work. Right. Okay, <laughs> right. so we have one cup of Greek yogurt, okay. and you can actually use that. Right. That, to has put to that, that has to go in there. All right, the okay. whole thing. The whole thing. All right. So, have you done much cooking and baking since you watched my shows? Oh yes. Or is it more just enter entertainment? Uh huh. I'm not so it's sure. It's entertainment. I'm not so sure. I believe what it's he's like saying. The, you know, it's like <laughs> comic relief. <laughs> it, it's probably entertainment in between, like all of your football games and things that you Something go to. Something like that. Okay. Yes. Oh. Three tablespoons of peanut butter. Okay, can I use that? So I'm just gonna, I'm just. Oh, you gotta get all of it? Can I get it oh, all, you know? I mean, waste not, want not, right? All right. Okay, so three tablespoons of peanut butter. All of the peanut butter. All of the okay, peanut butter. That and that's a little bit, you know, harder to get out. Actually. <laughs> oh, actually that's a little bit easier probably. Okay, and then we're going to do two tablespoons. This is one to two tablespoons of maple syrup. Do two. <laughs> Whenever there's a question, just double it. 100% maple syrup, okay? So then you're going to use your spoon to stir that. All right. <clears throat> I could have had an apron for you, but... But we're going apronless today yeah, because, of the, because, because of the Packers. You don't want to cover up the Packers, yeah, you, don't you know, jerseys. Number 12. Right. Do you need to cut those just a little bit, like another one in half maybe? I was thinking of that, but I was also thinking of, I want to keep my fingers. Do you want me to cut them? You oh, no. I can I'll show you this. how that works. I can do this. Okay. How's that? That's excellent. <laughs> Look at that. Like if you need it, awesome. Okay. Not bad. Huh? Not bad. Okay, now I want to get back to something before I lose the thought. Because yes. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned this before, like the pet shelter and right. some of these other <clears throat> nonprofit things. You, exactly. Well, sheltering hearts. Right. Yep. You know, it's just around the corner. Mm -hmm. So you do, and is that all donated stuff? It so is. So you yeah. have this, what I'm getting at is this sort of community sense because you're a community 
producer. Basically, you're volunteering mm -hmm. your time to do this program. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not like, I mean... We don't have sponsors. You don't have you sponsors. Know. You guys mm -hmm. don't get paid. You're just mm -hmm. doing this to help out the community yeah. like mm -hmm. you do with all these other things. Right. Which, uh, you know, other people could do. You know, that's kind of mm -hmm. how this works with the programming. But, mm -hmm. I mean, just talk about, you know, one, A, willing to do it, wanting to do it. But the fact that, you know, there's no benefit for you guys other than helping people prepare simple meals, right? Right, right. Um, I, th I think for me, and Gary could, you know, talk, you know, about this too, but, you know, growing up in a large family, my, I mean, my mother, you know, we grew up on farms, and for my mother, it was, you know, getting the satisfaction out of helping other people. And, you know, I, I guess that's kind of like what I like to do, um, whether it's for a community event, you know, we've donated um, baskets for, for MAPS when they've had fundraisers. The big thing with Sheltering Hearts is we've done a tower of 200 cupcakes. That's just kind of the name, oh, yes. you know, and you've been the, M or you've been the uh, um, auctioneer. Yep. I've always been, you know, into fundraisers when I was at the UW or at church, you know, working with our kids, you know, fundraisers, events. I think encouraging our, our daughter Megan when she was in Girl Scouts, it's kind of doing the best you can. We're, we're so blessed with what we have, and it's kind of all about giving it away. And that's what I love, you know, whether it's giving people ideas, yep. you know, to use, or, you know, helping the fundraisers, um, especially Sheltering Hearts. I was on the Hannah Center board, you know, for years, helping women and children who have less or who are in domestic violence issues. And, and that's where our heart is with Sheltering Hearts, and that really came about the first um, fundraiser was the year after our daughter Melissa was killed. And, you know, we're sitting there in February and, and they're talking about domestic violence. And this woman is up there saying, you know, how PDC had helped her um, survive. And then they talked about the statistics of domestic violence incidents in the home. And it was that night where it, it finally hit me like a ton of bricks that our Melissa was a statistic of domestic violence. Um, so it's, we've, that's always been so close to my heart, and that's why we do what we do, mm -hmm. to help people. We don't have to get paid. I love doing stuff without getting paid, <laughs> you know, so that's what we're about. That's, that's the payment. That's, that's the, the payment. payment, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and if sure. people like it, so much the better. Or helping people and who helping, are watching. Just exactly. Them, it's as simple yeah. as, here's an idea. Here's, you know, help you think outside the box a little bit. If you need a new idea or want to try something new or are having a party and you guys as a group want to try something, here's, yeah. here it is. We've given you now 100. What is the, what's your favorite episode or your favorite recipe oh. or the one you've done um, on this yeah. show? What, what one stands out right away when you think of the show? Well, I think, I mean, the big one, doing the big game, was, mm -hmm. was really fun because we had all these people yeah. kind of going crazy. and We made, I don't know, three or four or three five or different four, yeah. things. You were there, and Kat was there, and Brianna's sisters were there, and, and then people came to the door. It was like the day before I called up my friend Marlia and, and said, you know, we're making all this stuff on the show. Could you call some people, people to eat? People <laughs> to eat? <laughs> How are we going to eat all this food? I know. <laughs> well, let's have a backer party. Exactly. <laughs> so we, we actually cooked and baked yeah. for two hours. And then we then had our, our packer party out there. And Gary ended up in the screened-in porch because he thought that's where people should be yeah. was in the screened-in porch. In you January. Know? In January. Yeah. January. Yeah. And it was not too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. No, it's all like, it's all like Justin Lowe now, don't it? Don't yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> not too bad. Exactly. It was only 44 <laughs> degrees yeah. out there. Was that a fun, another fun one? Though? Well, a couple of fun ones. Um, they didn't totally stand out. But when I was kind of cooking on my own and Gary was outside mowing the lawn and Brianna <laughs> is showing a picture mowing the lawn, and then Gary realized he forgot to put the... Snap the hood back down over the basket, grass, over the grass oh, catcher, yeah. so the grass is blown out the back end of the lawnmower, <laughs> missing the basket. So, yeah, that's a, that's a classic, but we're not going to tell you which episode that no. was. So you got to go back and watch yeah. all 99 or 100 okay. of them to find that one. And then there was a, another, uh, I mean, a fun one, because we've, we've tried to also incorporate, you know, Brett and Brianne and their wedding and, and things. So Gary was on his way home, driving from someplace. I can't remember where you yeah, were. I don't remember either. And we had made, I think, Irish soda bread, and I was going to have soup with that. And we had the dining room table, you know, all set up. And and 
right when I finished, Gary calls up and says, I'm running late, I'm not going to be home. So he said, oh, okay, well, so Brianna was my dinner guest oh. that night. <laughs> so it's just kind perfect. of perfect, having fun. Hmm. And that's what we do. Well, this, is, this has been fun to watch on our end. It's been uh, really a lot of fun to watch <laughs> you guys go on all these sort of mini adventures I, along I know, the way. Yeah. And, um, oh, another one. Yeah. We've had so many. Uh, uh, another really fun one was when we went on the pilgrimage to Italy. And then we came home. And, and, the, and what I love is how Brad and Brianna, I mean, always put in pictures. And as, as we're talking, you know, we send them pictures. But it's incorporating our, our, our life. I guess it's really telling our story and, and our life about some of the things that we're doing. Hmm. And that's what I, I really enjoy. I mean, they put yeah. so much work into it. If it wasn't for them and, and the time that, that they put into it, too. You know? It's been a great resource to have for people. Yeah. You can just click and watch it and say, yeah. hey, now I've got an easy thing for the game or for whatever, last sure. minute. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so yeah, congratulations hey, on thank you. 100 episodes. Thank you. You've lasted a lot longer than a lot of other <laughs> TV programs. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I know. You must be doing something right. I think it was probably Gary. When you added well, Gary I think it was. Oh, yeah. right? I know. I'm, but I'm only in parentheses. Yeah, well, yeah. that's you know, okay. But He's you know. still trying to work his way up yeah, somewhere. Trying to get rid of the parentheses. Yeah. Well, okay. regardless, okay. congratulations. I am going to check and, and see if see those chocolates yeah. came okay. out, OK? And what do we call these? These are the super duper detox, detox, <laughs> detox chocolate snacks. Bites. Bites. Those are yours that you did. I made sure it was poking out of mine so you wouldn't get any of them. So all you have to do is put your so paper up like that just peel, and they just peel, right, peel off. right up. Look at that. And that took how long for those to set up? I don't know. They might 10, be still. Yeah. Are they a little soft yet? Might be a little. Yeah, that's a little bit soft. Okay. But we'll let them, we'll it works. Them back in there. It, it is not bad. Huh. Okay. So well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us yeah, today. This is fun. It, of course, would not have been a, a 100th <laughs> cel anniversary celebration without you. you well, know I, that. you know, I've had this on my calendar since episode two. You know. <laughs> oh yeah. Our right. videographers. You were didn't surprised. We were at 100. You even <laughs> said so yourself. No. <laughs> no. No. No, I've been tracking I'm very putting, careful. I'm putting words in your mouth. I swear. <laughs> I'm the president That's true. of the Cooking with Ruth That's and true. Club. There you Thank go. Thank you. Thank you. So any last words? No. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yes. <laughs> Let's oh, eat. Let's eat. Let's okay. eat. Okay. <laughs> so as we enjoy our detox chocolate bites and our skinny peanut butter dip, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Ruth and Gary and Mike. So until next time, happy cooking. I hate the Vikings. Yeah. Well, Hate's not a nice word. Dislike. I strongly I dislike the Vikings. I, I mean, as bad as it would be to wear a cheese head, can you imagine wearing those those horn horn yeah. things that they wear? Yeah.